Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. And today, I'm out in the Cheviot Hills, and I'm going to be heading up towards Langley Crags. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is beating down like it's a beautiful day. But this is a bit of a chill in the air, like, and no doubt it'll get worse the higher I get. Now, there's two options for getting up there. You can either walk all the way along to the farm, cross through the farm and then up the hill that way. And then that takes you up to long crags up the top there. And then I've just got to walk along the paths at the back end to Langley Crags over there and hopefully find somewhere to get set up. The second option is you just cross over the stream on the other side of this brick wall here. Um, straight, and it's a straight hike straight up the top. It's a bit of a steep one like um, and that gets you right up there straight away so I'm just thinking I've got a couple of hours don't want to be there too early and I'll be hanging around waiting to set up sitting on the hill then again I can always make myself a cuppa but uh, <laughs> yeah I was out last night in Harwood I uh, had a great bivy, bivy camp there solo and uh, Got back the car and the SD cards went corrupt so I'm not sure if I'm going to lose all that footage if I am I'm gutted because uh, it turned out to be a really good camp like but yeah as you can see there's a put path sign there you just follow that down the wall along the bridge and then straight up but if you walk along here for a couple of hundred meters and you cut through and you come up the back of them trees and all the way along to better walk so I'm just going to debate on what to do <coughs> which, op which option I'm going to take so uh, I've got my big pack on I'm out with the um, compact one from Terra Nova so we'll see how that works out the Helm Compact, but I just look at the views here, man. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? So that's where I'm hoping to camp up there.
Well, that's the first part of the hill sorted. Look at the views from here, man. Looking back over. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. There's a few people coming down from off the Cheviot. Just coming along the bottom road there. That looks like a canny hike, that like. Straight up there. Wang a left. Up a couple of dips and down a couple of, down a couple of dips and then up a few hills to get up on that big bugger over there. And that must, I can't remember what that one is, the other one there, but that's another big one. But anyway, I've got another bit of a climb to go. So I'll see you when I get there. God, this is different to being in the woods, this like. Stunning views, but I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I might need to take this jacket off as well. I'm getting a bloody sweat on here, like. Well, I think I might have to take this jacket off. Uh, I felt chilly down the valley, like. But I'm getting a sweat on now, so. I think I'll get rid of this jacket. So it's getting too sweaty and wet. And then push on. Got about another couple of hundred metres to go on, I think. To get up onto the top level. And then see where we're off from there. But jump as the the jacket's definitely coming off. Oh, God, hill walking, my God. Best thing to do, stop, take a breather, have a look at that. Oh, hey. That would be a killer, that, that walk. Especially with the weight I've got on me Bergen. But yeah, stunning. Looks like there's a bit of clag coming in at the far side there. But uh, the weather forecast is good for tonight. I think we've got about... 15, 20 mile one hour rare uh, winds and no rain. So happy days like, happy days indeed. Right, we'll get the final bit pushed off and then uh, I'll see you at the top for right, definite. Well, that's me at the top. Well, I, I thought it was the top, but it's not like, but that, I'm mocking you. That killed me that like, but it, it's worth that, isn't it? So I'm on the main track now. This is the track I could have carried on past the back of the um, woods down there through the farm and all that if I took the longer route. And now I'm just going to wind up and around to the top. And I think it takes you around up to the top of there. Okay, to the first set of crags. All right. But the main one I want is a bit further on the left. So here yeah, we're going, like. Ah. Oh, hey. Whoo. That's a killer, that hill lake. I don't even know how you use lot deer all the time. Especially you lads that take absolutely tons of beer and that. I think I've got too much kit with this lake. Um, but I'm going to be comfortable tonight. And I'm going to be totally warm. I've got bloody uh, buffalo jackets. I've got down body warmers and jackets and all sorts. <laughs> trousers the lot right i'm just going to follow this road round and get to where i need to be and tomorrow what we'll do is we'll walk along the top and we'll have a look at the other crag there okay um yeah i think that's the best option i tell you i just didn't fancy climbing up there like <laughs> i'd rather date tomorrow when i'm a little bit fitter or oh, got a bit of energy left but yeah oh hey Still got a bit of a distance to go like so but the crags are starting to come into sight now uh, oh, yeah, well, look happy days and then we'll find somewhere a nice pitch out from where the direction of the wind's gonna come and hopefully with a lovely view bit claggy in the distance like starting to come over here now but the sun's still bleaching down all right season a bit
Right, well, I've just had a memory flashback. And if I remember rightly, when you get to the gate, me and Rooney thought it'd be quick. I'd just to go a route direct straight across the open ground in between the two lots of rocks. No, not a good idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the path all the way up and around the back of it and come in the back side way. That's the way we came out, if I remember rightly, and it was a lot easier. But I, I just kind of get over these views. Absolutely stunning, like. And it's not a mega hard climb or nothing. It's just I'm not hill fit at all, like. And I'm probably carrying too much kit as normal. But it's just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And there's loads of um, wild birds up here coming out the heather. I kind of, where are they again? Um, I think they're a name of a whiskey. <laughs> I can't remember the bloody name. But I, what a glorious day though. I've been blessed. I've been utterly blessed with the weather. <sighs> yeah, totally have. Camera's gone everywhere. Yeah. Look at that blue sky. Not a breath of wind in the air. Happy days. Right, well, got another sty to go over. Oh, a big gate to go through. Up. Oh, I don't know where that takes you, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to follow the road around. So we'll just be lazy and go through the gate there. Eh? Oh, I must have to lift both of them up at the same time. Ooh, that's a fancy one. Hey, I got it. And then shut the gate again. My. Oh, both pins in. Rooney will like that. He likes these locks and uh, gates and that. Yeah. And anyway, fingers crossed. We don't get loads of clag. We'll get some nice views tonight, get some nice shots. But uh, I need to get me, me battery changed because it's starting to die already. I think the GoPro 11's on the cards. Because um, the GoPro 9's doing me napper in. It's just knocked on my SIM card yesterday. Don't know if I've told you already. But uh, I was in Harwood Forest last night. And uh, brilliant camp it was as well. Really nice, relaxing ground dwelling. Lovely fire, lovely food. And uh, yeah. The cards went corrupt. Hopefully I can sort it out on the computer. If not, I'll just have to do that camp again. Anyway, waffle waffle, bye bye. Well, that's me back off the main path and back onto the, um, the tracks. Heading up to the crags. Whew. I was enjoying walking along that path, it was nice and chilled. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hi, I will go. I think this is about, I'm not sure I'll have to check my map on the phone, but I think this is about 406 foot. So it's not the biggest one. It's like the Cheviot, that's about 815 or 814, something like that. Uh, and then, so you've got the Cheviot which is just there, and uh, <sighs> Hedge Hope, I think that is, up there. And I can't remember the name of the other crags, and I haven't got a clue what they're more called. <laughs> I'm not a mountain person. So, but yeah, nice and easy, does it? Tell you what, they, my legs are gonna be burning in the morning, but, it's bloody stunning, man. Absolutely stunning. Look at that sunshine. We're in for a good sunset tonight, I think. Hopefully I'll get me 10 pitch so I can grab a, grab a nice uh, one. Or oh, just set the camera up. Love it. Love it.
Hey, well, we made it. Here we are, Langley Crags. Thank God, let's just wipe that screen a bit. Yeah, it must just be the glare off the sun. But aye, here we are. So we're at the crags now. That's the view from here. This looks like a nice little area here, like, so I think I'll pitch there the night. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dump my berg in there and I'm going to go for a little walk around after getting some fluids down my neck. Have a look around that side and up there as well. Oh, small tea, Vicar. My apologies. But yeah, this looks like the ideal spot. It's nice and flat. Looks like there's a few people camped here in the past lake. And there's a lovely seat there. And we'll watch the sun coming down. The sun should come down about there tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, right. Right, well, and anyway, let's put yous down. Let's get this burger off. Put my little clip on here so I don't lose it. Whoo! I tell you what, like, I'm definitely not fit. I know there's certain people say to us that I must be fit hunting in loads of gear into the woods, but it's no compared to that, and that's just a little hill. But I, the Bergen's still mega heavy, like, I've got absolutely tons of stuff in there. <laughs> the only thing I think I've got missing is axes, knives, and saws. Actually, I've got a couple of knives in here. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> gotta, gotta bring them out, like. But anyway, I'm gonna get some fluids and uh, we'll go for a little walk around and then I'll get set up because it's only 25 to 4. Oh, I'm glad I brought three and a half litres of water with us because I think I'll be drinking a canny bit. And anyway, let's have a little wonder. Put yours on there. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, look at that, man. Sun's out. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I think I'll definitely camp there the night. If I, even if, they, if I pitch there and the wind picks up and just come and sit around here, have a look down into the valley. Lovely, isn't it? And that's where I'm going to be keeping the night. I've just come up with this smaller one here. And uh, if the winds were coming over that way, I think I'd just pitch here. Oh, that's still a stunning view, isn't it? Let's have a walk up here and see. Oh, I feel a little breeze there, like, yeah. Ooh, ah. Oh, perfect little bivy area there, look. Look at that. Protect it from the wind. There's loads of little outcrops of crag everywhere, isn't there? That's the main one down there, like. I think I'll just stick with staying down there. Check which direction the wind's gonna come from tonight. So I think the wind's all gonna pick up. But like that, man. Yeah, the artillery in the background, I went out to burn. She's in that direction, straight over the top of that big hill. <laughs> Boom, boom. Oh, nothing like the smell of cordite. Mm -mm. I'm just wondering if that's, that's one of the impact areas over there because there's a big plume of smoke coming up. Possibility like. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get some more fluids and then uh, get set up, I think. And then we can get it nice and comfortable and chillax. Right, well, that's me all set up now, ready to uh, get a brew on and sit and chill and watch the sunset, get a bit of food on the go. So, first of all, foods that I've brought out, I haven't brought anything to cook, it's all just these uh, these meals. So I brought a couple of trauma meals out uh, and a field meal as well. So which one we've got here? We've got a chili con carne meal, I've got a, de, 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 what's this one again? This is a couscous. <coughs> I'm not sure if you like that one. Breakfast in the morning, a fruit muesli. 
Um, I've got a bit of kennel mint cake that's about 20 years out of date. <laughs> I'm going to munch on that. And this is supper tonight. My wife went and got us it when we were away. A lemon meringue pie fudge. Look at that, man. It's massive. I might have a bit of that with my cup of tea. And then that's just me tea, me brew stuff. I've only got two Jack Daniels for us tonight. And that's me water. Temperature at the minute. It's just dropping down to five degrees. So starting to get a little bit chilly out. It was about eight, nine degrees when I got up here. And then obviously I've got my big bladder of water there as well to make brews and that with. The rabbit shit up here is unbelievable. Like I've had to scrape loads away from here because I'm I'm kneeling in it and dragging it back into my tent like. So I should use my mat really. But anyway, I excuse the snotty nose. I've got a bit of a cold. Um, but it doesn't stop us getting out like because you know I've got to get out haven't you so there you go there's the helm compact one all set up i've got my bergen through there and that's where my boots will go tonight as well out the way so in here i've just got my chest rig because i've got a few things to get out of it my electrics bag because i'm sorting that out the vestibule isn't massive but it's big enough you know what i mean there's enough enough room in here for one person and uh i've got all my my cold weather kit there, down pants I've had for ages and never wore them. I've got a down um, body warmer, uh, more clothes in that bag. I've even brought some mittens. These ones, the inners, these are from uh, Lapland when me and Sharon went on holiday. They sort of like just fell into me bag like. Um, obviously the army out as like. And uh, yeah, so I've got firmer rest mat. And another mat on top of it, me OEX Leviathan 900 and me British Army, eh, British Army, it's the Snug Pack Special Forces bivy bag, just in case there's any uh, dampness through here with condensation. And obviously I've got my light hanging up and all my other bits down there. So that's it really. So yeah, not too bad. Oh, there's, there's some nice colours in the sky coming now, like the sunset starting. What time we got now? Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm doing you wonky camera gun everywhere because I'm trying to look at my watch. 25 to 5. Happy days. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful up here, like. I, I thought I'll bring me my, um, my buffalo jacket because it's an amazing jacket, like. And it's comfy. So, I Stunning view from up here, like. At the minute, the sun will probably be, uh, not make you not be able to see it like, but it's in between the two major hills. So, excuse me, that's not you, it's not your nose. And there you go, down into the valley. And there's my tent there. I think I should have pitched it the other way, like. So, and I would have got a, a sunrise in the morning, but hey ho, it's all set up now. I think I may sit up on them rocks up there, having a having a brew and that. Or even down here. Looks nice down here. Bring me a little mat. Haven't brought a chair with us like. But this'll do, sweet as a nut look. I'll just sit down here. Watch the rest of that sunset. Bit of scran. Jack Daniels. Life just couldn't be better, could it? Yeah. Once the sun goes down. Now it'll be time to chill. So, yeah, you, you can feel a little bit of a coldness in the air now, like, but it's, uh, this is a different game, this. Uh, last time I come out, tent camping on a hill, it pissed down and it was dead windy. So there you go. There's me set up for tonight. Lovely, jubbly. Right. I'm going to get a brew on and I think I'm going to eat one of them bars and I'll catch you later. Happy days. It's so quiet. Well, that was a nice sunset that. Obviously the sun's got a little bit further to go down behind the, 
behind the mountains. But yeah, beautiful. It's so calm and peaceful as well. So anyway, I was just sat down here, made myself a nice brew. I'm gonna have myself a nice little bit of fudge cake as well. Kindly gifted off my wife. So I think she bought us this when we were um, in Jed, not Jedburgh, in um, Bellingham. Yep, Keela. I was stayed stayed at Bellingham. Bellingham. I can't say that properly. I never do. And uh, I had a couple of days playing around down in Keela Reservoir with the Ben and the dogs. Cracking a couple of days away, and then I've then I've come out with two nights out doing a forest camp and a hill camp. Life just couldn't get any better. I've got an amazing wife. Thank you very much, Sharon. I love you loads and appreciate all the freedom you give us to do all these wild camps. So if you're watching, I love you, darling, and I, I certainly do. Oh my life. I've not been eating all that. That's just pure fudge. I was expecting a bit of cake inside. That gives a little bit of energy and anyway, it won't it for later on. I'm sorry if the microphone's picking up my noisy eating. Apparently I'm a noisy eater. But yeah, absolutely stunning though, PLA. So calm as well. But anyway, Enough waffle off me. I'm gonna get this, get a cup of tea. Actually, this should be at a nice temperature now. Me having a cup of tea at a night time. It's only because I've got two Jack Daniels and I wanna take my time with them. But anyway, cheers everyone. That's a little scorchy you all. Right, I'm gonna have a little bit more of this and then put it away. I don't wanna spy on me tea. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a lucky man. A very lucky man. Right, well, it's time for me to eat this chilli con carne. I am a bit hungry and it'll have a little bit of warmth into us as well, hopefully. So I still feel a nice bit of heat in it. So, uh, yeah, I've got the, the GoPro 9 doing a nice night lapse of the stars and everything. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that works out really nice. Um, my main light for lighting up the area, it's bloody blind, there's like. But anyway, if I can see... I'm just going to rip this bit off and uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to turn my head torch on so I can see. Well, I think adding the extra water has definitely helped, but it it doesn't look very appetising, like, to be quite honest. Let's turn my torch off so I can see it in any way. Uh, it doesn't look very appetising. But uh, let's have a taste, see what it's like. Looks like baby food. And it's still hard as well. So I think it could have been left a little bit longer. And I've just ripped the flipping packet, haven't I? Oh, bugger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try and seal this a little bit and leave it for a little bit longer. It's definitely got a nice taste to it though. But it's still a little bit crunchy. So let's try and fold that over. It should work. And I'll just leave it down there. And I think I'll just, uh, I'm not going to put that on the floor because there's sheep shit everywhere. <coughs> so yeah, not much going to be happening tonight. Bit of time lapse and things, and I'm just gonna spend this night proper chilling out. But yeah, I'm sitting here now with all my stuff on, and I'm I'm toasty warm. The only things that are cold is my hands, but they're not mega cold. Okay, see you later. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy the night lapse. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, well, good morning everybody. Well, it's a glorious morning. It's a, it's a chilly morning, like. Um, yeah, a little bit of, little bit of frost on the tent. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I've woke up to this morning. The wind's actually blowing straight into my face and my doorway, like so. I've uh, pitched the wrong way, like. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> but aye, it's glorious. All right, lovely morning. I think the sunrise is happening over there. So let's go. Up and have a look. Got my table out. Got my blue nut ready to go on. So I tell you what, the GoPro name is like this later. It doesn't like the cold. There we go, that's our on. Sunrise is happening just to my real uh, left. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get a brew. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hungry at all, like, so I'm not gonna bother with breakfast this morning. I'm just gonna have a nice brew, pack up a few bits and pieces, watch the sunrise, head off back to the car. I'm, I'm, I'm debating where to have a walk up to the top of the tube yet, like. Minimum kit on me back, I know that for sure. But yeah, I must admit, I slept sound as a log last night. I think I only woke up about two or three times. There's tiny little gusts of wind, and that's about it. Nothing, nothing major to write home about. Like, so the, the Helm, Com Helm Compact One wasn't really put through its paces for me, um, but. What I would say is it's because it's a smaller tent it does retain the heat a little bit better. Other than that, yeah, not bad. When it used to being underneath the tarp and having absolutely tons of room to then going into a little small tent, yeah, that is going to be a difference. And uh, yeah, I did notice it. But if I do what other hill campers do and come out with next to no kit, I should have plenty of room, but um, yeah, maybe he's uh, just honing on my kit and it should be suffice for doing camps. Easy to pitch, comes seal seamed, everything in it, everything you need with it. I've got some delta pegs out as well, because I just didn't know where, what it was going to be like, <coughs> if it was going to be dead windy or not. So it's just best to be safe and sorry, really. But yeah. Put me lid on me cup, make it boil quicker. But anyway, gonna have a cuppa. And uh, that's it. But it's a glorious morning. That wind's dropped off, so that's happy days. Got the moon to the front of his. Got the sun coming up on the left of his. What more could you ask for? Nice clear day. It's going to be a glorious day by the looks of it. And the stars last night were absolutely amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. I sat here for hours last night just sitting staring at the stars, listening to some music, drinking me Jack Daniels, which I nearly threw half of one away. Like. Well, it's half past nine in the morning. It's bloody glorious, yeah. The wind's dropped right off, so I've just been taking my time getting packed up, cleaning everything down, wiping everything down. And it's nice to be able to go home and just store your kit away when it's all nice, dry.
got it all cleaned. Only thing I've got to do now is the pegs keeping the ground sheet and the underside of the ground sheet. Give that a white when we cloth. Everything else up there is all packed away. Look at that, man. It's sun is beating down on my head. Aye. <laughs> and I've really enjoyed myself coming up here. The Cheviot is an amazing place. It's beautiful. It can also be a horrible place as well in crappy, rainy, windy times. All right. Now, I know you haven't seen me up here in that kind of weather, but trust me, I have been in my me, in me younger days. But yeah, I fully enjoyed myself. Um, be great on a summer's night sitting up here with a few beers, a nice bit of food and all that instead of that. I, them dried meals, I didn't rate them. Like, they're expensive. You know what I mean? I think they're about nine quid, a, nine quid a pop or something. But uh, yeah, I think the next time I come out to ten camp, I'll bring some of my own food. Um, I've still got a few of them rations to eat like, so I'll probably use them for a different type of adventure, like when I go and walk and doing a little bit of a couple of day hiking or something. Um, but in any way, yeah, going off track there a bit. But yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching and it's been really appreciated and I've enjoyed myself. Next time, hopefully I'll be out, I won't be full of flu and uh, I'll enjoy it better. Well, I did enjoy it. I was just feeling a bit groggy. But anyway, enough waffling. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.